take an orange Because the world is round with four seasons And all the yummy stuff that grows in the ground A red ribbon round the middle Because Jesus gave his life for all God's people And a light on top Because his love will never stop And now you've got your Christingle Shining clear and bright We can be like Christingles And shine hope into the night First you take an orange because the world is round with four seasons And all the yummy stuff that grows in the ground A red ribbon round the middle Because Jesus gave his life for all God's people And a light on top Because his love will never stop and Now you've got your Christingle Shining clear and bright We can be like Christingles And shine hope into the night First you take an orange because the world is round with four seasons And all the yummy stuff that grows in the ground A red ribbon round the middle Because Jesus gave his life for all God's people And a light on top Because his love will never stop And now you've got your Christingle Shining clear and bright We can be like Christingles And shine hope into the night First you take an orange Because the world is round With four seasons And all the yummy stuff that grows in the ground A red ribbon round the middle because Jesus gave his life for all God's people And a light on top Because his love will never stop And a light on top Because his love will never stop Hello, and thank you for joining us for this year's Christingle service. As you might know, we've taken the very difficult decision to keep the church building closed for the time being because we think that the safety and the well-being of everyone in our local area is our most important priority. But we hope this online half an hour will remind you of some Christingle services that we've had in the past and perhaps introduce you to this idea if it's something that's new to you. One of the reasons we wanted to have some kind of Christingle event is because this is a very important time of fundraising for the charity that promotes Christingle, the Children's Society. Once a year many churches focus on this charity and through different activities raise money to support their important work. We haven't been able to give out our usual collecting boxes but I do hope that following this video you'd feel able to go to the Children's Society website and make your donation in that way. We've all had a tough time this year, but charities are finding it a particular struggle with so many fundraising events being cancelled and people being understandably concerned about their own financial situation. So let's remember that Christmas is a time of giving and generosity thinking about those in an even worse position than we might be. Let's enjoy this time of celebration together and then do what we can in support of those in need. We're going to start with a fun way of remembering the parts that make up the Christingle symbol. And then we'll see a video from the Children's Society 
talking about their work. Let's make our Christengel. Who can we find to help us? We'll start with the orange. The orange represents the whole world. Next, we're going to add red tape around the middle of the orange. This represents God's love going all the way around the earth. We're going to take some sweets and put them on cocktail sticks. Then we're going to stick them in four points in the orange. This represents all the amazing good gifts that God has given us. We're going to carefully make a cut in the top of the orange and then we're going to place the candle in the top. The candle represents Jesus, the light of the world. And now our Christingle is complete. Thank you for sharing the light of Chris Dingle and helping disadvantaged children and young people in the darkest of situations. We've all been through a lot this year and unfortunately, disadvantaged young people have been some of the hardest hit by the pandemic. For the young carers who have been shouldered with more responsibility than ever. The young people who have experienced devastating effects on their mental health or the missing children who have nowhere to shelter for the night. We need your kindness more than ever. Together, we can rekindle the hope inside these vulnerable children and provide the safety net they so urgently need. Your Christingle donations will help run vital services all across the country, helping children through one-to-one -one counseling and dedicated project workers. You can guide the most vulnerable children to a brighter future. The kindness of Christinglers like you will help bring hope and optimism to the lives of young people. Please give what you can today and let children in this country know just how much they matter. Thank you. Here I am to worship 
this year we're not able to give you the elements to make up a Christingle as we would normally do in the church building. Instead, we're going to have a time now of making your own Christingle at home. And I'm going to suggest that you do that in a couple of ways. If you've managed to find all the traditional things that you need, then you can use those as we go through the next part of the service. If you haven't got those things, don't worry, because we've got an alternative for you this year. And you might like to do this, even if you've got the orange and the candle and all the rest. We're going to go on a scavenger hunt just around our own homes, and hopefully this won't be too difficult. As we think about the traditional parts of the Christingle, we'll adapt that slightly in the way that we've had to change so many things that we're doing at the moment. Let's start with the orange, which represents the world. It makes us think about God's good creation. The Bible in the book of Genesis tells us that God made the world and everything that's in it, and that God was pleased with what he had made. I wonder what can you find around your house that represents the world to you? It might be something round. It might be something that's nice to look at or something that reminds you of creation. You might have a ball or a globe or a map of the world. You might have a picture of a landscape where you've been on the holiday or you might have something to do with creation, pebbles or feathers or shells, anything that you can think of that makes you think about the world that we live in. I'm going to give you a one minute timer now, so off you go and find something and I'll see you in 60 seconds. <laughs> Let's take a few minutes to think about God's wonderful world. What part of creation are you particularly grateful for today? It might be a special place or a creature or another person. Just take a minute and quietly give thanks for that place. Perhaps somewhere you've been, somewhere you're hoping to go back to. Something in nature that you particularly admire some person that you're particularly grateful that you know. Sadly, we're all guilty of damaging God's creation, or at least not appreciating it enough. Let's take a minute just to say sorry and to pray for God's creation in all those ways and places where we find suffering. The next part of the Christingle is the red ribbon or tape that we put around the orange that represents the love and the blood of Jesus, who gave his life for us and for the whole world. The Gospel writer John tells us that in his famous words that we read in John chapter 3 verse 16, that God so loved the world that he gave his only son. So what is it that you can find in your home that is either red or speaks to you about love? It could be anything, a piece of string or wool, a red scarf, a family photo, or a piece of jewellery, or anything that's in the shape of a heart. So another minute while you go and find something like that.
Now that you've brought that back, let's take a few moments to think about God's love and the people who love us. Who is special to you? Whose love are you particularly grateful for today? Take a moment to give thanks for them. When we're having fun at this time of the year, some people are feeling lonely or sad. So let's offer a prayer for anyone that we know who's particularly in need at the moment. The next part of our Christingle is the candle that we put into the hole in the top of the orange, if you're making one in that way. What does the candle represent? It's Jesus, the light of the world, the one who brings joy and hope to all. And again, John writes about that in his famous words at the beginning of his gospel, which are often read at a Christmas carol service. The true light who brings light to everybody was coming into the world. So what have you got in your house that represents light? It might be a nice decorative or scented candle or a lamp or a torch or a phone that can give you light, anything like that. So off you go for the next minute. Now we think of Jesus, the light of the world. Often in church buildings we would have candles to remind us of that. We give people a candle at their baptism and of course we light candles on the four Sundays through Advent leading up to the fifth candle which we light on Christmas morning. Let's give thanks that Jesus is the bringer of light and joy and hope to us all. Some people such as those who are supported by the Children's Society, are particularly vulnerable or find themselves in situations of danger and they don't feel particularly joyful or hopeful and they're struggling with life. So let's pray for them now. And finally, what do we need to finish our Christingle? It's those four cocktail sticks with sweets or dried fruit on them that represent all the things that God gives us in creation. So what can you find around the house that represents the good things that God has given us? It might be an item of food or perhaps a favourite toy. 
or something that you've got in your house that represents God's creation, a plant or some flowers. So for the last time, off you go for one minute to find something like that. of the four seasons are you most grateful for? They all have something special and beautiful about them. What's your favourite food? What might you be looking forward to as a special treat over Christmas? What's your favourite animal? Give thanks for all of these things and remember that some people in our country and around the world don't have enough food and they don't have special toys. Remember them and pray for them. And in a time of quiet reflection, this next video leads us in some thoughts around the theme of candlelight. And after that, we'll join together in Graham Kendrick's song, Can You See What We Have Made? And if you've made a Christingle with a candle, or if you've collected a candle as part of the scavenger hunt, then it would be good to light those together now when we listen to the song.
Thank you for making Chris Dingle bigger and brighter than ever. By sharing the light of Chris Dingle in your community, you are helping disadvantaged children and young people in the darkest situations. Together we're rekindling the hope inside these vulnerable children and providing the safety net they so urgently need. We've all adapted a lot this year and it's amazing to see how you've taken the spirit of change in your strike to celebrate Chris Dingle in your own safe way. Services online and in person happened around the country bring joy and celebrations into our lives. Once again, thank you. Your dedication to celebrating Chris Dingle means that we can create a society where every child has hope for their future.